Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom, I'm a makeup artist from London. Today I wanted to record a video featuring my favourite red lipstick of all time. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do on the rest of my face, but all I know is that I want to have juicy, glossy skin, and um, yeah, we'll just see where the rest of it takes us. If you'd like to see how I achieve the look, please keep watching. I don't actually think I've been inserting skincare into the latest videos, but I'm going to go in on some of this now because if you do want juicy, glossy skin, you're going to need um, lots and lots of moisturiser, loads of gorgeous products just to really plump and hydrate. I'll put all of the products that I'm using um, along the bottom of the screen so that you can see later. I tend to go really, really red whenever I apply um, skincare products or sort of do any sort of rubbing on the skin, so it may or may not show up on camera. I'm just going to go in with a sort of glowy primer as well now on the high points of my face, just to keep adding extra layers of shine and dimension. I think Glossier is a great brand for this sort of product. It just does really lovely sort of skin finishes. I don't want to take too much in the centre of the face though, because that will make me really, really shiny. Or not in a flattering way at least. And I'm going to go in now with a tinted moisturiser just to keep adding to that. With the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, um, I'm actually going in with my fingers just because I think it applies nicely with them. I've gone for quite a, um, a pale shade, but also a yellow shade. Um, whenever I'm wearing minimal product, I think I need to do some of the sort of like colour correction um, in my skin. Um, with sort of the the sheerer layers. And I do have a lot of red in my skin at the moment. I think I'm just a little bit, my skin's a little bit aggravated. I've been going through some tricky times with my skin. So having something a little bit more yellow. Um, I know normally it's like green that counteracts redness. However, if you have yellow or a yellow undertone in the base, it can sometimes do that for you without having to go in too heavy um, with sort of like actually green products. And wherever I need to up the coverage, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the Glossier Concealer. Um, I've had to mix a few colours because I don't have my exact one. Um, this formula is so, so pretty. Again, very dewy, very glossy. Um, but I just want to add that little bit more, mainly in the centre of my face and under my eyes, just to make me look a little bit more put together. Because when you do wear a red lip, um, I think you do need to be wearing a bit of makeup for it not to look sort of like a random red lip slapped on a, you know, a bare face. But the goal really is not to um, put too much makeup on today. I really, really want my skin to look youthful and shiny. <laughs> Another product that I really love for juicy skin, but is an absolute nightmare in the kit, so messy, is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Contour Wand. It's very, very thin in its consistency. So sometimes when you put the colour on, you're like, ah, that's going to be way too much. But I just take a bit on the back of my hand and then it blends into basically nothing. And there's virtually no texture with it at all, which is what you really want in a sort of natural, sort of glossy, glowy look. Because if you're adding layer on layer of product for that type of look, it doesn't necessarily um, read very well on the skin if you've got sort of thicker products. But this will still give me the sort of sculpting that I need and the colour. Um, without being too crazy. Take a little bit up in the temples as well. Not too much. And to keep sort of the colour all in the place it needs to be, I am just going to be using it on a smaller brush. Even though it's shedding on me, but hopefully you can see it's blending out really, really nicely and not looking like a sort of heavy texture on the skin. Perhaps a touch dark for me, <laughs> but I think maybe because I'm just not wearing uh, any other makeup yet, it looks a little strong. You can see it just blends away into absolutely nothing. The texture's really, really lovely. To keep the skin juicier still, I'm going to go with more cream products um, for my blush. I have a palette like this from my Pro Kit, um, and inside I have a lot of the Stila convertible colours, and I'm going to use the shade Peony. I feel like I'm, you should do a shot every time I say the word dewy or glowy, um, but these Stila convertible colours really are the embodiment of that. They just have a lovely sort of pigment payoff, whilst also adding that really, really, you know, dewy, glossy glow. And you can just use your fingers really to work it into the skin. I feel like you can't go far wrong with this. Just keep going. <laughs> 
and then just use your concealer or your foundation brush just to dab around the sides to make sure everything's really, really well blended in. But I'm going to move on to eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. Is it the number one? Yeah, I think it's like the original one. I think they've come out with other options, but just some really, really pretty shades there. Um, I don't want a lot on the eye. I'm just going to put something, a little bit of something through the crease and then a shimmer on the lid. And that's basically it because I want the focus to be on the red lip. Just taking this brown shade and running it gently, gently through my crease, right out to the outer corner. I'm not too worried on this look about taking the eyeshadow down. I know a lot of my videos I talk about how you've got to be careful to keep it quite high. Um, but today I'm just not so worried. I just want to make sure I get a really gentle wash all the way around the eye. Um, it's not so much about precision as um, some of the other looks that I've done are. I'm trying to stay mostly above, um, above my crease and stay quite close under the brow. Um, just so that I can leave the eyelid free for, for more of the um, the glittery, shimmery shadow. And don't forget to take a clean brush to just go over the edges to make sure there are no harsh lines. I need this to sort of seamlessly wash right up. These days I do struggle a bit because I've got quite dry skin um, on my eyelids, so I think all products are starting to look a bit patchy. It may be <laughs> time for me to transition pretty much all into cream products, but uh, I've just got so many nice powders that I don't want to waste them. And I'm going to go in on the lid with this pop shade. I'm going to use my fingers just because I think it's how they apply the best. Tilting my head back and just applying it. It's kind of glittery, shimmery, um, but it's not too obnoxious. I told myself I wouldn't go in with any other eyeshadow palette, but I'm just going to take a slightly sort of darker brown shadow right against the root of my lashes. Again, I've talked about my hooded eyes before. Um, I can't get away with actually adding liner to my lid without completely overtaking it. But I do think that I'm going to need a little bit more definition, not just the mascara. So all you do is you look right down and you go as close as you possibly can. Um, to the roots of the lashes. It's barely taking any of my lid space whatsoever. But it does make a huge difference to the definition of the eyes. Bizarrely, I always find this eye much, much harder to do that tight lining on. Um, my sort of arm is in like a weird position. This is my more difficult eye because it's more sort of downturned and hooded, but this one always gives me the problems with application, so it seems I can't win. Um, I'm gonna also go in with mascara. It's just the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm gonna take, um, the curl and length side, which is the finer brush, if you can see it like that. Um, just because I don't want loads of um, lashes, I just want to sort of have more definition. And to be honest, I think volumizing mascaras are wasted on me because I just don't have any lashes anyway. When you sort of try and thicken my lashes together, it just makes them look really scraggly and spidery. I am, however, just going to take a little bit of um, shadow and just define where my lashes would be along the bottom of my eye, just because, again, I think this look would look really nice with bottom mascara, but I just don't have any bottom lashes. So I'm gonna cheat it by at least defining this bottom lash line. If I don't take it too far in, or I blend it out, I then don't um, cut off my eyes either, which is very handy since I've got such small eyes. You just do have to be very careful though that you don't go overboard on this one. Now's the time that we're going in to just refine the skin to make sure everything's settled in well, see that nothing's moved. And I'm also going to go in with a teensy bit of powder. At the moment, I'm just sort of repatting in the concealer, seeing where it might have, you know, slipped away or if it needs a tiny bit more coverage, but it's mostly doing okay. I'm gonna use an absolutely tiny brush for my powder and it's the Morphe M218. It's just really, really little. I'm taking it into the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless and I'm just going to bounce it in very specific places. So that's down the side of the nose, just here, keeping the cheeks completely free of powder so I get to keep the gloss. I just want to make sure that um, my under eyes aren't shiny, but I don't want to put too much powder there. A little bit on top of the nose, teensy bit just in the centre here, where I am very shiny, side to the mouth and a touch on the chin. Hopefully everywhere else, I'll still maintain that lovely, lovely glow. But 
just not in the places that make it you know, so make it look a bit more sweaty. And also down the center panel of the face, I have huge pores. So I think a little bit of powder can sometimes help take that away. And now it's time for the main event. And that's the lipstick from Code 8 Beauty. And it's in Opera. This is my sort of favorite, most used red. It's very, very sort of true red, but it's also quite blue. So your teeth look nice and white, which is very, very important. Um, a lot of the times some red lipsticks can have sort of a hue that maybe make your teeth look a little bit more yellow. Something really true and red like this is a fantastic, fantastic thing to have in your makeup arsenal. Before I start, I'm just going to go in and line the lips. I personally find um, lining my lips one of the most challenging things ever because I, uh, I have really wonky lips and my lip line also changes all the way around. So at some points it's more prominent and other points it's completely flat. So it makes things look absolutely crazy almost all of the time. Hide some of the imperfections, but clearly not all of them. <laughs> and now in for the real treat. Just also obsessed with the texture of this lipstick. It's matte, but it's definitely a sort of soft, comfortable matte. It doesn't sort of highlight any of the lines on my lips. It wears very comfortable and the payoff and the pigment is so nice. So hopefully you can see that even with lips as wonky as mine, this still packs a punch. It still looks amazing and the colour is just Oh God, I love it. And my teeth, I feel like they look white rather than too, too yellow. Um, they'll never be as white as, you know, all that, but I do think altogether it makes for a really pretty look. So that's my favourite red lipstick. That's Opera from Code 8 Beauty. And the lip liner, before I forget, is Cheerleader from Huda Beauty. Their lip contour or lip cheat, what are they called? Yeah, lip contour pencil. They are bulletproof. Actually, the lipstick will come off in the middle, but the... um. The lip liner just doesn't come off forever. Like I sometimes have them on my hand and I can't get them off. I do actually have a few different um, liners I sort of go between whenever I use this lip. Um, there's one from Kryolan, which is just like a really hard formula pencil. Sometimes that's just what, you know, life calls for. And then otherwise I do like to sometimes use a brown. It helps to sort of ground a red if you don't want it to look sort of too bold. Um, but I think sometimes with a bold lip, bold red lip, you just want this sort of plastered perfect red. Um, and combined with the other sort of like nice light makeup, I just think it makes a really pretty look. Um, I love the dewiness of the skin, the gloss, the glow, everything that I'm about. Um, and hopefully you will have taken something from this look. Please do comment below what you think of it. Um, if you have any recommendations for videos that you'd like to see in the future, also pop them down there. I'd love to hear from you. Please like the video um, and share it with people if you can. I'd love um, more people to discover my videos. And hopefully I will see you all again next time. Bye guys.